Hey fight fans, welcome back again to another episode with the African Fighters and on today's episode we'll be giving you a roundup of everything happening in the world of combat sports, stay with us. Alright, Adesanya and Duplessis have gone back and forth in recent months ahead of a potential middleweight title clash. Duplessis faces Robert Whittaker at UFC 290 and a win could clinch the next title short. Adesanya and Duplessis briefly sparred together earlier in their combat careers with each middleweight claiming they got the upper hand in training. But Sean O'Malley feels that any past training wouldn't translate to how things would play inside the octagon. During a recent episode of the Bro Mali podcast, O'Malley gave his thoughts on Adesanya and Duplessis' ongoing beef. In his words, he said, The thing about that is that it's so long ago. It doesn't matter, O'Malley said, especially if it is just grappling or just kickboxing. That doesn't necessarily translate into the cage and into a fight. Izzy was probably just kickboxing at the time, and so I don't think too much of that. I think it smokes Duplessis, to be honest. Regardless of how the Adesanya Duplessis training session played out, O'Malley doesn't believe that those sessions will impact how the fight could end if it comes to fruition. UFC middleweight contender Sean Strickland arguably crossed the line with his latest rant on Israel Adesanya. Strickland's no filter approach to trash talking has scratched some heads, but his latest shot as Adesanya involved calling the UFC's middleweight champions race into conversation. During his UFC fight night, Strickland vs. Magomedov pre fight press conference, Strickland turned his trash talk towards Adesanya's skin color. Is he the Chinese, the true Chinese? They probably. They probably want to bring a real African back to the championship. Hey, can you guys believe that shit? Is that real when he says, look at the color of my skin? Did that really happen? I'm this fucking loser, bro. I need to revoke your black card, bro. I don't even look at you like a black man. I look at you like the fucking Chinese. This fucking asshole, bro. No, this is real talk, bro. I don't even know how... I don't know how Izzy goes and hangs out with his black buddies and, like, represents Africa because, dude, you're fucking a clown. Adesanya has reflected on his time competing as a kickboxer on the regional scene in China where he claimed he will always have ties to China and expressed gratefulness for his early career success. During the same appearance at Media Day on Wednesday ahead of his fight at UFC main event, Strickland also went on to provide his assessment of the current title picture at the middleweight division. After suggesting that everyone knows that Whitaker would defeat Duplessis at UFC 290, Strickland criticized the decision to grant the South African a potential title shot on the back of his victory over a divisional veteran Derek Bronson, who he insinuated should be retired. I think Drykus is gonna. I think Whitaker is gonna f- Drykus up. I think we all know that. That's kind of like a fight. Why is this happening? Drykus fought a Brunson. Is Brunson retired yet? No, he's not retired yet. I mean, Brunson. When's the last time you've seen a top 10 guy quit on the stool? Have you ever seen that? You, you don't see that. So it's kind of a, it's kind of embarrassing that the Drakus gets, you know, a potential shot, but you know. In his third consecutive international fight week appearance, Drakus Duplessis is coming to put on a show once again. At UFC 290 on July the 8th, Drakus Duplessis will step into the octagon for the biggest fight of his career to date. Facing off with the former UFC middleweight champion Robert Whittaker, UFC president Dana White confirmed that the winner of this matchup will get the next shot at the champion Israel Adesanya. On top of that, the timing of the card marks a tradition for him in his UFC run. In three consecutive years, the South African contender has competed at the UFC's International Fight Week, which is traditionally one of the biggest shows of the year, boasting a stark card of fights to go along with the Hall of Fame ceremony. In an interview with the Schmo, Duplessis said there is a reason he's always on these cards. Yeah, definitely. And uh, you know, this is my third uh, International Fight Week, so uh, in a row. So it's it's great, you know, being uh, trusted with the with the performances, being trusted uh, with the. Uh, the big shows that's that's what you want that's what you need and you know the UFC knows who to put on who puts on the good fights and uh, it's great for us to to be here representing looking for a sixth consecutive win in the UFC to earn him a title shot this isn't just the biggest fight of Dracos's career it's also arguably the toughest against Robert Whitaker. PFL lightweight Chen Burgers has made his first public comment since the PFL suspended two fighters and gave him a play of sport. Burgos earned his first PFL win against Yamato Nishikawa at PFL 6 last weekend when he earned the decision victory. It wasn't enough, however, to earn him a spot in the playoffs. Burgos' playoff chances got a second life when Nathan Schultz and Rush Manfio 
were suspended following a violation of a contractual standard in their fight. While Burgos is thankful for the opportunity to fight on another big stage, he understands the frustration of Schultz and others. In his words, in an interview he said, I sympathize with those guys. Bogus continued, I am not a heartless guy, I get it, they are best friends. One is like a godfather to the other one's daughter. Watching it backstage you could tell they didn't want to hurt each other. I sympathize with them because I have never been in that position to fight a teammate, let alone a best friend. So I do feel for them. Interesting situation going down with the PFL as certain fighters are threatening to boycott the PFL playoffs if the decision to disqualify these fighters stand. Let us know your thoughts, leave your comments in the comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you in another episode.